Hi everyone, I'm here with a collective haul from Marshalls, CVS, and Rainbow. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started because I got a lot of stuff. First, I'm gonna start off with like the most boring stuff. Um, I got some gloves because um, it's been pretty cold here lately. Um, I just got this black pair, I got a gray pair, and then I got some black and gray striped ones. This all came together, I think, for like $4. Um, and then I got this scarf, which is basically just like a neck wrap. Um, and it's two different textures and two different shades of gray, which I really like. Um, it's got some fringe at the bottom here. And you really can just play with it and kind of wear it more loose or more tight or just kind of work the fabric around however you want on your neck. Um, See, I really, really like this. And then also, I picked up this shirt, which I've worn once and I'm already in love with. Um, it is black and gray, and it has the Eiffel Tower on it, which you guys know I love, and the word Paris. And then at the bottom, it has just a graphic print of the city. Um, this is really, really soft material, really, really nice. Um, it's not too thick, because you guys know I'm not a huge fan of long sleeve shirts, but this is thin and a little bit looser. Um, and this was like $15, and I love it, so there's that. Um, and then the last thing I got from Rainbow are these boots, which I'm wearing today for the first time, and I'm obsessed with them. They're these dark chocolate brown combat boots. Um, they've got buckles right here. They've got this, like, fake little zipper right here. Um, well, it's not fake. It's a real zipper, but it doesn't do anything. It's basically just for show, which I can't pull it down, but you get the idea. And then on the back, it's got kind of this paneling. I don't know if you guys can see it. The lighting is kind of weird, but it's got this really nice paneling. And then on this side is the actual zipper that you put your shoe in. Um, and then it just laces up right here. And it's got a small heel as well. I just love these. I have been looking for combat boots exactly like this with these exact details and color for months. And I'm so happy that I found them at Rainbow. Um, like I said, I'm wearing them today for the first time. Oh, they've also got this really nice faux fur lining. It's super, super soft and comfortable. So, yeah, loving these. First impressions are pretty good. Um, let's see. From Marshalls. I got the Batiste Dry Shampoo, which I've heard a ton of great things about for a long time, so I thought that I'd finally try it. This one's for darker hair, obviously. Um, and let's see, I haven't even smelled it. See how it smells. Uh, it does not really have a smell. It's kind of floral, kind of light and floral. Not too bad. Um, but yeah, there's not much to say about this because I haven't tried it yet, but I'm excited. Um, I also picked up the Taylor Swift Wonderstruck Scented Body Lotion because I was in store and just happened to like look at it and smell it and it smells so good. It smells like kind of plum, like plums or berries. Really, really nice and fruity. Um, the packaging is really pretty so I wanted to try that out. Let's see, I also, I think that's it from Marshalls actually. Oh wait, I got one more thing. I got a little distracted um, walking through the aisles by the Christmas mugs and this one just jumped out at me. It's got this really, really cute, it reminds me of a Christmas sweater, like kind of print with holly leaves on it. And then it says pour me some joy. Really, really cute. Um, I just love this. I love the color combination and the print and everything. and. I, yeah, Christmas mugs are kind of my obsession and my weakness at this time of year, so there's that. Um, moving on to CBS, I picked up the L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes Excess, which I've been wanting to try for a while, actually, um, but I just couldn't justify it because I don't like to keep too many mascaras at one time, but I'm running out of um, some of the ones that I'm currently using, so I thought that it was justified that I picked this up and I'm really excited because I really, really like the original version of this, so there's that. I also picked up the new Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm, and this is in the color Shameless. 
I've heard so much buzz about these lately. I was wanted to get the red color, um, but this really, really caught my eye. So I got this one, and it is just a beautiful, really dark, vampy plum color. I'm wearing it today with a gloss on top. Um, and it smells really, really minty. Um, and Revlon product, products are just really good quality in general. So excited about that. I also got this Chroma Beauty bronzer, which I figured I could probably use as a highlight, um, just because these colors are like kind of not really in my um, range. I don't know. Anyways, but this is in the color Endless Summer. First of all, the packaging is really, really pretty. It's this beautiful rose gold. Really, really nice. And then the actual powder looks like this. It comes in three different shades. Um, I'll swatch them off for you guys so you can see. If you can see. Let's try and swatch them so you kind of have an idea of what they look like. Um, or you can mix them all together and get a color like this. So, yeah. Um, there's that. Very, very excited to try this. I just saw it and I thought it looked really unique. And I was looking for a powder highlight as opposed to like a cream or liquid highlight. Um, and I've just really been all about like accentuating the face and just super into like face makeup lately so there's that um i also got speaking of chroma beauty i got one of their joysticks and this one is in the color rose parade and it's just a really really nice candy apple red and i like these because they're retractable see it's a super bright red i'll swatch it for y'all there's a swatch really really pigmented um, do these have a smell? They smell kind of menthol -y. Um, yeah, nothing to really write home about, but packaging is super nice. And who doesn't need a good red lip for the fall and winter, so there's that. And then I picked up a new moisturizer as well. This is the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Hydrating Gel Moisturizer. And this, I just, I don't know what made me get it. I just thought it was different. I want to try. I don't think I've ever tried a gel moisturizer in my life, so I wanted to step out of my comfort zone again. Um, and this smells really good. Yeah, it smells like um, green tea and cucumber, which are some of the ingredients. So, yeah, there's that. Um, and then the last thing I got are these makeup wipes. These are the CVS brand Nighttime Cleansing Towelettes. Um, they're supposed to be compared to Pond's evening soothe wet cleansing towelettes i think there's 30 in here yeah there's 30 um and these are pretty these are like five to six dollars so a couple like two to three dollars cheaper than the other brands so i thought i would try these out and they they're like the nighttime ones so they have chamomile and white tea in them it's supposed to be really soothing so yeah that is my haul i'm really excited about a lot of this stuff um if not well all of it really um a lot of different stuff that I haven't tried before and just new clothes and the boots which I'm already in love with so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and go but hope you guys enjoy this if you want reviews or any on anything or want me to use it in a video and like a tutorial get ready with me let me know um and until then I will talk to you later bye